doesn't get the time but it's very important because you are in 11th standard and you need to keep in mind that proper revision is very important okay proper revision okay. is very important if you revise if you keep on revising continuously then you will be able to answer the questions very properly okay and otherwise you will not you will forget everything okay so here we have a question for you that in uh, CLF3, CLF3 loan pairs are situated, are situated at equatorial plane, at equatorial, equatorial plane but due to due to overcome the a loan pair loan pair repulsion repulsion b loan pair loan pair and loan pair bond pair repulsion c Lone pair and bond pair repulsion and D bond pair bond pair repulsion. Note it down. Tell me the answer. Tell me. Tell me. The CL in CLF three, in CLF three, the lone pair. That means we are just having chlorine at the center, and we are just having fluorine. Story, okay, and we are just having each of them in the equatorial plane. Why we are having them in, in the equatorial plane? Okay. Because of lone pair, lone pair, and bond, lone pair, bond pair repulsion. Okay, this is a simple that whenever in CLF3, what we are going to calculate the calculate the uh, hybridization of CLF3. First, calculate the hybridization of CLF3. Calculate. Uh, Noha and Lena, please turn on your camera if it is possible, because it will be means it will be much better for me if you turn on your camera. We will check whether you are studying properly. Are you getting face expression is very important for uh, studying something. Uh, okay, so please turn on your camera. Sir, the hybridization is sp three D. Sp. 3D, yes, its hybridization is sp3D. So if the hybridization is sp3D, so we have we will have how many sigma bonds? There are three, there will be three sigma bonds. Okay. Sp3D. Sp3D, we the, the shape which in which we are going to have the shape we have in sp3D. This triangle means yes, we will have trigonal bipyramidal shape. There will be five bonds, one, two, three, four, and five. So this is the shape. But if you are going to have the chlorine atom, then chlorine atoms will be present here, okay? In equatorial plane and not in this one, not in this region because, because one is one is this one. There will be lone pair present here. There will be lone pair present here, okay? And you need to keep in mind here that uh, due to, uh, they, will, they will like to have, because if they are pl pl present here, if the bond is present, means if the atoms are present here, okay, if we have CLF3, because we are going to have Cl at the center, I'm just made, okay. So their fluorine atom should be at the, should not be at here, okay, should not be here, because 
because they are going to have okay this fluorine protein atom is going to have 90 degree repulsion and this is very much more okay so they will like to have at the maximum repulsion so bond pair bond pair repulsion and and bond pair lone pair repulsion so lone pair lone pair repulsion and lone pair lone pair repulsion should be at maximum so if we need to place the two lone pair so they will be at maximum repulsion and that is of 180 degree so if we need to place them so there should be 180 180 degree so b is the correct option you understood yes next question here we will have in which molecule all the atoms are found in the same in which molecule which molecule all the atoms all the atoms are present are present in the same plane in the same plane okay a we are going to have pcl3 second we are going to have option as co2 okay co2 c option we are going to have is xcf4 and the next one we are going to have d is xef6 Calculate the hybridization of each case. Which of the following is going to have the same plane? Means the molecule atoms are in the same plane, not in 3D. So in which hybridization will going to have this uh, molecule in the same plane? Tell me. What is the hybridization of this one? Sp2. SP, SP2, two. 2. Why SP2? Boron has 3 electron in its outermost shell. And monovalent atom is 3 divided by 2. You cut it, you will get 6. 6 is SP2. Yes, it is correct. It is SP2. And this one is SP hybridization. This one is XEF4. So 8, 10, and 4 divided by 2. You will get 12, 6. So that is SP3, 4, D2. Okay. And sp3 d2 is but we are going to have only four electrons here so for four four the so four will live in in this form x e f f f and f okay so they will remain in the same plane in co2 they will remain in the same plane in b in sp3 trigonal panel bcl3 they are going to have in the same plane okay these all three will remain in the same plane but if I change the question here that which of the following molecules, in which of the following molecules, all the atoms are, atom writing not, not present in the same plane. So XCF6 is going to have an octahedral shape. And since it is going to have SP3D3. Okay. So in this case, uh, SP3D3. Okay. Or we'll have the electronic configuration so 8 plus 6 divided by 2, you will get 7. So sp3 d3, 3, 3, 6, and 1, 7. So it in, in this we will going, going to have the pentagonal bipyramidal shape. And since it is going to have pentagonal bipyramidal shape for the six atoms, they're not going to have all the atoms in the same plane. Okay, so this is the correct option. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, otherwise, all of the atoms are going to have the same plane. Okay. Okay, tell me the next question. The minimum bond angle, minimum bond angle, angle is found in, is found in A, CCL4, B, CL3, C, NH3, and fourth, we're going to have D as NCL3.
let it let it let it be an H N F T. Tell me the answer. First, calculate the CCL4. This is CCL, okay? This is chlorine. Tell me. Done. The minimum bond angle is found in which? What is the what is the hybridization of this one? Tell me fast. Sp three. Sp three means tetrahedral. The bond angle is one zero. Nine point twenty eight degree. Nine degree and twenty eight minutes. BCl three. SP2. Shape. SP2 shape. Tell me the shape. Trigonal planar. Yes, trigonal planar. Trigonal planar. Burn angle 120. Okay. NF3 hybridization. And F3. SP3. SP3. And this is also SP3. But they are going to have lone pairs, okay? Like, for example, in uh, here in SP3, they're going to have four uh, carbon atoms, four chlorine atoms bonded together like this way. Okay. But in nitrogen, in case of nitrogen, there will be a lone pair here. And because of this lone pair, if we are going to have, okay, there's a lone pair if we have nitrogen and here and this one, okay? So this lone pair will exert a force on this one and the bond angle will decrease this to some extent, okay? Got it? Yes. Okay. So bond angle decreases. And if I talk to you that, which is going to have, uh, here we're going to have lone pair, okay? The bond angle will decreases. And now in this one, We have chlorine, chlorine, and chlorine. So here is also bond angle. So in which case you will think that more comparison will be there. NF3 molecule. Hmm? NF3. 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 Why NF3? Because there will be less bond angle. Yeah, because fluorine is more electronegative. So we, we have written here that bond angle is inversely proportional to bond angle is inversely proportional to electronegativity of the element. Okay, the more electronegative, less will be the bond angle. So we know that uh, this is going to have 120. So we need to decide from this one, this one, this one. This is actual sp3, actual sp3, and it is going to have the original bond angle that is 109, but we're going to have compression, okay, due to, and we will feel in which we are going to have more compression because this is more electronegative. So the, uh, the, the negatively charged electron will exert more force on this one because there will be more and more repulsion. 
okay as comparison to this one so this uh, in, in as comparison to that the lone pair will exert more force on the more electronegative atoms and there will be less bond angle so we'll, we will have the answer the correct answer will be tell me the correct answer will be nf3 nf3 okay next and the last question and then we'll start the molecular orbital theory that is minimum minimum bond angle is found in is found in no2 positive a b is no3 negative c only no2 and d is no2 negative first calculate their hybridization minimum bond angle is found in Tell me, what is the what is the hybridization of NO two? SP. SP. NO three. SP three. SP three and NO NO two. Uh, SP two. Why SP two? Why SP two? 5 plus 0 divided by 2, it is going to have 2.5, 2.5 sp2. And this one? This one? sp2. sp2. Okay. So we are going to have 6 and we will add the charge, negative charge. Okay. So this is proper sp3, sp2 and this is proper. Okay. So minimum bond angle will be found in which one? Tell me. So, uh, minimum we are talking. So, this is SP. This is going to have 180. Okay. Now, we'll, uh, this is going to have 120. SP2. Sorry, SP2 is going to have 120. Okay. This is also 120. And this is SP3 is 128. Okay. 128, 28 something. So, we'll just compare only with this one and this one. Okay. So, which do you think is going to have more bond angle? Minimum bond angle. This is 180. This is 128 degree. Uh, and sorry, 109 degree. SP proper SP3 is 109 degree actually. 109. 109 degree and 28 minutes. Okay. And this is NO2. This is SP2. This is going to have. So tell me which is going to have more repulsion power. Minimum bond angle. So let's draw the structure. We have NO2. So NO2 positive, positive. Okay. So this will be the bonding. Okay. This is going to have five electrons. One electron has been loosed and loosened here. So the octet has been completed and this is NO2 positive. Okay. This is proper 180 degree. Got it? Are you getting? Yes. No, huh? Lena. And second yes. one is if you are going to have NO3 minus. So NO3 means three nitrogen uh, with one negative charge. Okay, so one negative charge oxygen will be this one, which is making single bond. Okay, then another one, nitrogen, keep in mind, nitrogen cannot make more than three bonds. Okay, and if it make the fourth bond, then it will make by using its own electrons. Okay, so this is a single bond, make the first single bond and then another single bond. Okay, got it? Yes. Got it? Okay. Now, 
<laughs> what was the rule that we have done in the previous class to make the structures? Uh, represent the uh, outermost shells electrons. One, two, three. Okay, that has been means participated in the bonding. So first we will participate it. One electron has been participated here. So one electron is remaining here. Give one, one and five, five electrons to each. Okay, this is going to have six, why? Because it is with one extra negative charge. Okay, got it? NO3 yes. minus means O with an extra electrons, okay? So here the double bond, uh, now complete the octets, how many electrons are there? One, two, three nitrogens is going to have three, okay? So the two unpaired electrons are there, okay? Now complete the octet of the other ones. So it is not going to have, so it is not also going to have, it is going to have five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So by using the two unbonded electrons, make the double bond here and double bond here. Okay. Okay. And uh, this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this will be a sharing electron. So we're going to have actually, this is the uh, trigonal parameter shape will be there and we're going to have 180 degree. Uh, born angle. Okay. Got it? Yes. Okay. Now, the next one is, and we are just going to make the, let's just keep in mind that nitrogen cannot make more than four, and even if it is sharing. So, this bond will be actually the sharing bond. Okay. Let me discuss this one with the another structure. Okay. Now, if we are having the NO2 only, NO2, so this will be double bond here and then single bond here like this. Okay. And with one, two, three. Okay. And it cannot make one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So this will be a lone pair. So since the lone pair will repel more powerful, okay. So it will be going to be less than this one. Okay. This is a bent structure and it will be less than 120 degree. Okay. Less than 120 degree. Theta will be. Or will it be greater? Tell me, will it be greater or will it be less than? So when we are going to have the two negatively charged species, so they will repel each other. They will, when the two negatively charged species are there, they will repel each other. Okay, they will not come closer. Okay, they will repel each other. So in that case, here, it, if the angle is actually, that triangle shape angle is actually 120 degree, the theta will be greater than 120 degree. Okay, and similarly, if we have, no, no, wait a minute, there is no known pair. Let me make the structure of NO2 properly. NO2, okay. So if we have nitrogen, how many electrons are there in nitrogen? Five, so two, one, two, okay. And let's make five electrons. Okay, now we need to make complete the octet of this one. So this is actually the oxygen atom. Okay, and it is sharing one, two. Okay, let's see, have the double bond here. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is oxygen. You under understood this one? NO2, but how many octets? One, two, three, four, five, six. So octet of this one is still not completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there will be a single bond between these oxygen atoms. Okay, and in NO2 structure, if I talked about the electronic configuration of nitrogens, I talked about the electronic configuration of nitrogen. Nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 3. Okay, 2 comma 5 electronic configurations. And if it is NO2 positive, then this electron will be losing, okay? But if it is single bond, then nitrogen is going to have, may, is going to make bond by using its two electrons here, single bond, and there will be double bond here, okay, with one electrons. But if I'm talking about the NO3, in NO3 structure, there is a lone pair. So if there is a lone pair here, so, if it is only two single atoms here, so it will, there will be a repulsion between them and theta will be greater than 120 degree. But if there is lone pair, then it will apply the force and theta will be less than, less than 120 degrees. Okay. So if I talk about this one, that which of the following is going to have 
the lowest bond angle, the minimum bond angle. So that will be in NO2 minus. Okay. And we have also shown here that it is 2.5 bond angle. Okay. This is 2.5. It is not completely 3. Got it? In NO2. So if we have the proper, proper NO2, sp3 hybridization then in that case the there will be less bond angle in sp2 if it is going to have a lone pair okay got it so this is an exception case please note it down properly that no2 has the maximum bond angle then we will have no2 no2 positive then we will have no2 then we will have no3 minus and then we will have no2 minus okay this is the order of bond angle of bond angle. Please note it down. Here in NO2, this structure, this nitrogen is not going to complete its octet. That's why it is electron deficient. Okay. It is its octet is not being completed. Okay. But in NO3 minus NO3 minus means one electron with, with extra nitrogen, okay? So here in that case, if it is minus, then minus sign, okay? Then if we have NO2 minus, then one electron will be also there, okay? Due to negative sign, okay? Then it will become a known pair, complete known pair. And then it will exert a force on this one and angle will be less than 120 degree, okay? Are you getting my yes. point? Yes, yes. Or should, I, or should I teach you one more time this one? Should I teach you one more time? Or you understood? Okay, let me explain you one more time. Okay, let me explain you one more time. For example, if you are going to have NO2 positive, NO2 positive, okay? NO2 positive means nitrogen is going to have only four electrons in its outermost shell because positive sign, what is positive sign indicating here? That nitrogen has lose one of its electron, okay? So when it is NO, NO2 positive, it is going to have four electrons, okay? And then there will be no lone pair, only the six electrons will be like this. Okay, and they will be going to make like this eight electrons and it is going to have complete, it is going to complete its eight electron like this way. Okay, then the hybridization of this one will be four. We can have because we can have five and then minus one because the plus charge is here and divided by two, that is SP hybridization. So that will be 180 degree, proper 180 degree. Okay, got it and positive. This is the structure you understood. Oh, yeah. Yes. In NO3, in NO3 minus. Now, NO3 nitrogen is going to have, uh, means it is going to bond, okay? It is going to have five electrons. Two here, okay? Two here and one here. Well, let's put one here. Now it is bonded with three oxygen atoms. So one oxygen atoms with, if an oxygen atom is going to have a single bond, okay? Just keep in mind, if an oxygen is going to have single bond of it is going to minus charge so it behave it does not behave like oxygen it, it behave like a fluorine atoms okay one two three four five six and seven when oxygen carry seven electrons if it is carrying seven electrons then it becomes o minus okay okay then this electron and this electrons of nitrogen is making bond here you understood now the re how many are remaining how many are remaining Four electrons are remaining. Okay. One, two, and three, four. Okay. But you know that nitrogen cannot make bond with so if we having six electrons here. Okay. So and if we are going to have this one. So here will be a sharing bond. Why sharing bond? One, two, three, four, five, six. And here the nitrogen will use of it two of its electrons in order to complete its octet, okay, two or, because nitrogen cannot have more than it. If it is still sharing, for example, let here, if it is also making double bond with these two oxygen atoms, sorry, two oxygen electrons, so it will going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So nitrogen cannot have 10 electrons because it does not have D orbitals. So what it will do, it will use two of its electrons in order to, okay, it will not share with this one and use this two of electrons this two. So here the octet of nitrogen is being completed. Sorry, this oxygen is being completed. Eight. 
okay and this is also being completed okay and this will be the shape of this will be the shape 120 degree you understood yes okay 120 degree and the next one is is no2 positive sorry no2 only no2 only so if we are going to have no2 not positive so now it is going to have five electrons one two three four and five okay but here the two oxygen atoms will make bond like this okay so if it make bond like this one two three four the nitrogen cannot have nine electrons so what it will do what it will do it will make bond like this nitrogen the two will share like this one two three four five six seven eight and uh, one here two three okay one two three and four five so this five electrons this this will be a deviation bond or coordinate bond in which the nitrogen is using its two electrons so it will be like nitrogen double bond then single bond only and there will be one electron here okay this is unpaired this is so here it is electron deviation it is going to have seven electrons only in its outermost shell got it got it if it loses one yes. of its electron then it will become no2 positive no2 positive but since there is this is not there is not a lone pair okay so actually it, will, it is going to have it it is going to have if it is not a lone pair so they will be like 180 degree but it still it is an electron but not two electrons okay so the bond angle will be greater than 120 degree bond angle will be greater than 120 it is not exactly what if it is two lone pairs okay okay so there will be a repulsion between these two negatively charged molecules and it will be greater than 120 degree okay Okay, here it should be yeah. have, but there is only single electron, not two. So, but in case of NO3 negative, if we are having NO3, uh, sorry, NO2 negative and O2 negative, okay, then it is going to have extra electron. So, it will be like, okay, and now it lone pair. So, this lone pair will exert a force and now here the theta will be smaller than, theta will be smaller than 120 degrees, okay. Got it? Yes. So, and because of this, the force will be exerted here. Okay, now let's start the molecular orbital theory. So, we have written this one. Let's start the molecular orbital theory. Molecular orbital theory. Orbital theory. What we actually studied in the molecular orbital theory. In the molecular orbital theory, actually the molecules, uh, the how the molecules are being formed okay we'll just study that how h2 molecule is being formed why not he molecule does he2 molecule is not going to form why don't he2 molecule do not form some molecules are paramagnetic in nature some some are non-paramagnetic in nature the, the reason behind this uh, that how the molecules are being formed means h2 o2 okay n2 and why the sums are showing uh having triple bond why some are having double bonds okay and why some molecules are not uh, don't means we don't means practically some molecules are not formed okay like he2 like any two molecules not formed so why why uh, so this the reason behind this uh, is actually uh, we can simply say that is given by the molecular orbital theory so actually we know that uh, there are two natures of wave okay particle nature one is particle nature another one is wave nature so when an electron revolve it shows two types of nature. One is electro particle nature, and another one is, is wave nature. So actually, this theory is based on the wave nature. Okay. This theory is based on the uh, linear combination of atomic orbitals. Okay. So we'll, we'll write here. It was given by Millikan and Huns. Okay. So it was given by given by Millikan. Millikan and Huns. Okay. And based on and based on on wave nature wave theory okay or we can simply say that it is based it is based on linear combination linear combination of atomic orbital of atomic orbital that how two atomic orbitals combine together and they are forming a new molecular orbitals okay Understood? Yes. So we will consider that here that in 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 molecular orbital theory, 
electrons means we can simply say that in molecular orbital theory, electrons nature is considered to be as wave nature. Okay, so electrons nature nature is considered is considered as a wave nature. Electron nature is considered to be as wave nature. Okay, now. There are two types of orbitals. Okay, one is positive orbitals, the orbital with positive signs, and then other other orbital is with negative sign. Okay, so in this we have two types of orbitals. The types of orbitals, types of orbitals. The types of orbitals we have is the one is orbital with positive sign, orbital with with positive sign. Mm -hmm. Orbital with positive sign, positive sign A and B is orbital with negative sign. Orbital with negative sign. Okay, got it. Positive yes. sign and negative sign. And now the types of overlapping that. Right? how that overlapping is taking place because when the two atomic orbitals are combining and they are forming a uh, new molecular orbitals okay so for example if this is an uh, atomic orbital this is an over, over atomic orbital so they combine together for example the atomic orbitals of hydrogen that is one s orbital another one s orbital of hydrogen okay they are combining together then how they combine together there are two types right? like we have sp uh, overlapping like we have P, P overlapping, okay, we have uh, P pi, P pi overlapping, we have P, P sigma, P sigma, okay, there are different, different types of overlapping we have studied, okay, so similarly in the atomic orbitals, we also have the different, different types of overlappings, okay, the types of, types of overlapping, overlapping, okay, so we will say that atomic orbitals of same energy and same symmetry combine to, combined together, combine each other and form a molecular orbitals, okay. So if I talking about is talking about then that there should be when when the atomic orbitals are going to combine, they must be of same energy and same symmetry almost. Okay. If they have different symmetry, for example, if I'm having a orbital like this, okay. If I'm having an orbital in this direction, so how can it combine with an orbital which is which is in this direction? It is not possible. Okay. So if an orbital is going to combine, so they must be in same symmetry as well as in the same orientation, you can simply say, okay, and moreover, uh, they must have the same energy. For example, if the two orbitals are there, which is 1s and one, one other one is 5s, so they are going to have different energies. 1s orbital is not going to combine with 5s orbitals, okay? Okay, so similarly, orbitals, orbitals of same energy, same energy and same symmetry, same symmetry, Symmetry are combined, are combined to each other, to each other to and form and form molecular orbitals. Okay, like one atomic orbital, one atomic atomic orbital. Combined together with one another atomic orbital, atomic orbital, they will give you a new, okay, two atomic orbital, two atomic, two molecular orbital, sorry, two molecular orbital, two molecular orbitals. Like this is the same that if we have this is the same similar to the hybridization. For example, if we have 1s and 2p orbital combined together, okay, 1s and 2p, pp orbitals, they combine together, then they will give you new three hybrid orbital, which is going to have sp2 types, okay. If we have 1s and 3p orbital combined together, they will give you four new hybrid orbital. Similarly, similar is for the, uh, similar is for the molecular orbitals, okay. okay? So if there are two atomic orbitals are combining, then they will give you new two molecular orbitals, okay? They will not give you only single, got it? Have you noted yes. this one? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay.
Now moving to the next one is if we have like one. Okay. So there is a wave nature we are just talking about. So if wave travel like this, if an electron is in the wave like this, and it is added with with the wave like this. Okay, so this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, and this is negative. So if the electrons are having the same same wave, okay, and they are going to combine together, then this type of wave is called constructive, this type of interference. When the electrons having this wave nature, I mean, okay, this type of wave combined with another which is going to have this type of wave, this will going to have a constructive interference, okay, constructive interference interference and actually it will be going to have uh, the atom molecular orbital is going to have like this the addition of these two okay they will add up okay this this positive and this positive will add up we can simply say that they will add up and plus with this plus and will result in okay got it so this type of will be when these two are added this will gives you a new wave which is going to have a double okay got it yes sir. but yes. Uh -huh. yeah this is the same phase we will say that this is on the same phase and same or we can say that or same sign same sign okay and if i are talking opposite phases are there if they are just overlapping like this if an electron having the wave like this okay then it get plus and it get minus. Okay. And if it is overlapping with this one. Okay. This is negative and it is positive. So when they overlap together, this is called a destructive interference. What we call it? Destructive interference. Destructive interference. Destructive. Destructive interference. So when this is destructive interference, then what would happen? So we will have a wave like this. This is positive and negative, and this is another wave like this. Negative and positive. Okay, because I don't have a space, so make it of the same size. Okay, as you are making like this, so it should be make make it like this. Okay, of the same size, and the resulting wave will be, the resulting wave will be, of this nature. There will be no wave. Okay, this will be zero. Okay, so this is called destructive interference. The wave will decreases. Okay, got it? Yes. Understood. So if we are having done. Yes. Sir. Yes. Should I move forward? Noted. Yes. Okay. Next one is if we are having additional overlapping. Additional. Overlapping when they are adding, we are adding away. Okay. okay, additional overlapping. So if we have, we will say that it is, it is similar to the constructive interference. Okay, additional when we are adding. Okay, so if we have a orbital like this, atomic orbital minus and plus, and we are adding with minus with plus and minus plus and minus. Okay, so if we are adding this one, this will result in like this. So this will be plus plus this will be minus and minus okay okay got it yes so so in this in this type of uh, when when we are going to have additional overlapping in similar to similar to constructive interference constructive interference okay so if we are talk about this one that we have this one Okay, and when we are just adding these two, so this is plus plus will be added and minus minus, so we'll have like this. Okay, and this type of bonding, bonding molecular orbitals, okay, uh, are formed when we are just adding, means due to additional overlapping, bonding molecular orbitals are formed, means which are responsible for bond, bond making, okay. There are the two types of molecular orbitals. One is anti-bonding molecular orbital, another one is bonding molecular orbitals, okay. So bonding or molecular orbital wants to make bond, but anti-bonding molecular orbitals do not want to make bond. They want to be separate each other. Okay. So if the number of bonding orbital is more than the anti-bonding orbitals, the bonding will take place. If there are more number of anti-bonding orbitals, 
and less number of bonding orbital, then there will be no bonding. So if we have bonding, bonding molecular orbitals more and anti-bonding, anti-bonding molecular orbital in less quantity, then bonding will take place. And if it is opposite, if it is they are less and these are more, then there will be no bonding will take place. Okay. Got it? Yeah, Got yes, it? Sir. So we will say that when additional overlapping means this type of overlapping, we called it additional overlapping. So when additional overlapping is taking place, so this type of bonding, this type of uh, molecular orbital formed is result in bond in formation of bonding molecular orbitals means there will be a bond will form between the two atoms. Okay. So we'll say that bonding, bonding molecular orbitals, molecular orbitals, we call them in short BMO, okay, are formed, are formed by additional overlapping, additional overlapping. Okay, understood. The next type is, is subtractional overlapping. So when the, we are going to have subtractional, okay? Have you noted this one? Yes, sir. When we are having subtractional overlapping, subtractional overlapping, okay? So if we are talking about subtractional overlapping means similar to, similar to destructive interference. Destructive interference. Okay, similar to destructive interference. So if we are talking about this one, that if we have this type of, uh, if we have this type of, once one is positive, another one is negative. Okay, so if we are having plus minus and then plus, then we are having negative. Okay, sorry, plus and minus here. So if this type of bonding is taking place, then what is going to happen? Tell me then they will subtract each other, they will remove and the positive and negative will be like in the opposite poles, this positive. Okay, this will this type of bonding will form and we will going to have one nodal plane here. And this results, subtraction overlapping result in the formation of anti-bonding molecular orbital, okay? So we will say that anti-bonding anti-bonding molecular orbitals anti-bonding molecular orbitals are formed anti-bonding molecular orbital anti-bonding molecular orbitals are formed during during subtraction overlapping subtractional Overlapping. Okay. Got it? Got it? Yes. Like for example, if we are going to have the type of additional and subtractional overlapping, let's have. Noted this one? Yes. Let's start. Let when we have additional Additional and subtractional, subtractional overlapping. Like we were just studying in the uh, like when uh, overlapping between one s and p orbital, okay, one s and two p orbital, one s and one s orbital, okay. So this uh, we are just going to study here also that additional and subtractional overlapping between between one s. 1s, 2s, 2s, and 2s, sorry, 2p, 2p. Okay, got it? So we have 1s. This is also 1s. Then it will give you what? It will give you when we are adding 1s, 1s. Okay, and we are just representing. So it will give you sigma 1s. This is sigma means bond, sigma bonding, 1s molecular orbital, it will give you, okay? And the other chance means I have told you that when uh, when two bonds are formed, if they, uh, when two 
uh, orbitals, atomic orbital, 1s, 1s orbitals are formed, then they will give you two molecular orbitals. This is one atomic orbital. This is another one atomic orbital. So when they combine, they will give you two atomic orbitals. One atomic, or, sorry, two molecular orbital. One molecular orbital is this. And another molecular orbital is then they will be going to have minus condition. Then it will give you antibonding. And antibonding is represented with a star. Sigma antibonding 1s. Because why I'm writing sigma here? Because sigma bond is formed when, one S, one, when S orbitals are going to combine together. Okay. They will always form sigma bonds. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. The next one is if we are going to have the now how this plus plus overlapping take place. So it is just like if we have the positively charged here, one S, another plus, then again plus. 1s orbital, then they will form bonding molecular orbital like this. Okay, this is plus and this is plus. Okay, and this is sigma 1s. Got it? Here, nodal plane is 0. Nodal, nodal plane is 0. 0 means there is no nodal plane. Nodal plane, what is nodal plane? The, pro, pro, the place where the possibility of finding electron is 0. So here, everywhere electron is being found. So there is no place. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Should I move forward? The next case yes. might be when we have plus and minus sign here. So next, if we are going to have, if the next condition can be like this, if we have plus here, and then we are adding minus with this one. Okay, so 1s, 1s. So when they combine together, they will be forming like this. Plus, okay, and then this will be negative. Okay, and we will say that it is sigma anti-bonding. There will be no bond formed here. Sigma anti-bonding minus, okay? Okay? And this name will be nodal plane. It is going to have nodal plane one nodal plane, okay? Means here it will be the nodal plane. If it, they are revolving like this, then there will be, there will be one nodal plane, okay? Got it? Yes. yes. Now, similar for the 2S also. Similar for the 2S. If we have the same, so similar for, for 2S, 2S, we will have two here, two to everyone. The same structure will be formed, okay? Okay, but you need to keep in mind when we are in, in a spherical shape, there is no X and Y, Z. Okay, in S orbital, there is no X, Y, Z. But if, when we are talking about the P orbital, so there is X, Y, Z. So in molecular orbital uh, theory, Z axis is, is considered to be as internuclear axis. Okay, so uh, in hybridization, we were just considering that there can be any uh, internuclear axis. We, we just need to give. But in... In here, we're going to have an uh, internuclear axis that is fixed, that is Z. Okay, so you need to keep in mind that in molecular orbital theory, in molecular orbital theory, Z axis, Z axis is considered as internuclear excess okay in molecular orbital theory z axis is considered to be as internuclear axis okay so if we have 2px and is making bond with 2px so xx if we are x axis if and we are considering z as internuclear axis then z are going to make sigma bonds other y and x are going to make pi bond okay so they will combine together and they will form one sigma pi 2px pi bond will be formed and 2px okay and uh, got it are you getting and when we have 2px anti-bonding structure they will form anti-bonding 2px okay so you might be uh, thinking here that what i am teaching you right now here is that so just i'm just teaching you the type of overlapping that take place when one px px bond is making making Okay, 2px and 2px orbitals are going to combine together. Then, if 
there is a two possibility that they will make one bonding and one anti-bonding or molecular orbitals. Okay. So when the waves of px positive and px positive is overlapping together, then they will form uh, they will form a uh, bonding molecular orbitals. And when a wave of negative one is overlapping with the positive one, then they will make uh, anti-bonding orbitals. And why p? Because in z axis, sorry, in molecular orbital theory we considered Z as internuclear axis. So when there is PX, 2P, 2PZ and 2PZ are making bond, okay, then we will consider it as sigma bond. Sigma, okay. Got it? Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, now, now if we are going to have this P orbitals, there is a chance, plus they are making bond like this, okay. This is plus, this is plus, this is negative, and this is negative. And they are making bond in how? Type of bond will be like this. The electron cloud will be like this. And there will be a nodal plane like this. Okay, and okay. Negative, negative will combine together. Okay, and this is pi. Why pi? Because this is 2px and 2px. Okay, and they are just combining together like this. So this will be pi 2 p x okay pi 2 p x and there will be pi bond and there will be one nodal plane nodal plane is one okay there is one one axis one line can pass through where there is a where the tendency of finding electron is less so in mid in between there will be no electron will found here okay got it got, got it got it okay now moving yes. to the next the next one is uh, Alvina. You got it? Yes. And you, Noha? Yes, sir. Okay. If we are having two PY, uh, similarly, if we are having this type of configuration, this is minus, sorry, plus, and then minus, and then we will have minus and then plus. So, Plus minus will gives you nothing. Okay. So what it will be? They will repel each other. So this will plus, this will be minus, and this will be minus, and this will be plus. Okay. So we'll have one nodal pin like this and one nodal pin like this. And this is plus opposites, oppositively spins are are, are attracting each other. So it will be anti-bonding. So we'll like pi anti-bonding for star. And this is 2px. Got it? Got yes. it? So in antibonding, we have two nodal planes. Nodal planes are two. Okay. So when we will practice the question, you will understand that what is the role of nodal plane, and then you will understand. Okay. So let it be. Then when 2py and 2py is overlapping, 2py and 2py. So y is not considered to be as internuclear axis. So again, pi bond will be formed. So it will be pi, okay, and then 2p, y, and we were having 2p, y, minus 2p, y, and they bond together, they will be anti-bonding, anti-bonding 2p, y, okay. And similar will be the same for it, okay. The number of nodal plane will be same because it is same exactly which we have y axis and there will be having x. Okay. So same will be there for 2p y. Okay. The nodal planes will be 2 in the anti-bonding, like we are having here. If we have y, then it will become y. This will become y. In bonding, we're going to have one nodal plane, and in anti-bonding, we're going to have the two nodal planes. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Now next one is 2pz. So if you are just considering Z, 2PZ plus 2PZ. Now, you know that they are. this is considered to be as internuclear axis. So when Z and Z axis are going to combine and it is internuclear axis, so they are going to make sigma bonds. So sigma pi 2PZ here will be there. Sorry. Sigma 2PZ. And then we have 2PZ minus 2PZ. Then it will be forming anti bonding 2p z. Okay. Got it? And when sigma bond is formed, then they're going to have the uh, overlapping like this. Head on overlapping is going to take place. 
So in this case, have you noted this one? Yes. Okay. Now if you are going to have, uh, if you are going to have this one, like this, negative and positive, okay, and then plus, positive and negative. So positive, positive is overlapping here. So it will give you like the same, positive, positive, negative, negative. Okay, and this will be sigma 2p z. Okay, and no nodal pin. Nodal pin will be zero. Zero. Okay, and if we have like this, negative, positive, plus, we'll have negative and positive. And in that case, we'll have negative, and then we'll have positive and there will be one nodal pin okay so this is anti-bonding sigma 2pz nodal pin will be 1 okay got it yes so in uh, we will say that in bonding molecular orbitals then how many how many bonding molecular orbitals Okay, and the, in the remaining, in the remaining one, if we're talking about this one, that's in sigma bonding orbitals. In sigma, let me try it here. But if you check it, in, in sigma bonding molecular orbitals, the number of nodal plane is zero. Number of nodal plane, nodal plane is zero. Okay. But in pi anti-bonding molecular orbitals, the number of nodal plane is 2. And pi bonding molecular orbitals, the number of nodal plane is 1. Okay. You understood? Oh my yes. So in anti-bonding, we were having 2. Okay, in anti-bonding, we are, we are having two nodal planes. One here, one here. But in pi, pi bonding molecular orbitals, we are going to have one nodal plane. But in sigma, in sigma bonding orbital, we are going to have how many nodal planes? Zero. Zero. But in sigma, if in sigma anti-bonding molecular orbitals, we have number of nodal plane is one. Okay, and we are having this type of one. Okay, this is sigma anti bonding. So we have one nodal plane. Okay, got, got it? Yes. So you can write it that this one, this one is going to have zero and two. Means in sigma bonding molecular orbital, we have zero, and in pi anti bonding molecular orbital, we have two, and others are going to have one. Okay. Others are going to have one nodal planes. Okay. So nodal planes, if the question comes in examination, you need to remind it. Okay. So in sigma bonding molecular orbital, we have zero nodal plane. In pi bonding molecular, anti-bonding molecular orbital, pi and then anti-bonding. We have two. Another all going to have one. Okay. So now moving to the next one is have you noted this one? Surely, yes, are you yes, writing? Yes. Are you writing the notes or are you taking the screenshot? Because the screenshot will not work. You need to keep in mind that your screenshot will not work if you are writing. If you are not making proper note, then it will create a problem. So, molecular orbital theory is used to write down the electronic configuration of diatomic molecules. Okay, of diatomic molecules only, or ions having electrons. Okay, so and so let's just let write this one. That what is what is the rule? And why we are just writing the molecular orbital theory is used to write down the electronic configurations of, of molecule or ions having electrons less than 20. Okay. So let's write molecular orbital theory. Molecular orbital theory is used to write down write down the electronic configuration. Configuration, configuration of 
diatomic molecule or ions okay having having number of electrons electrons up to up to 20 okay okay got it so yes. what, what is the use of it is used for writing the electronic configuration of diatomic molecules only okay then we have two two type of rules one which is going to have uh, one molecule which is going to have total number of uh, electrons less than or equal to 14 okay less than or equal to 14 and one we will have another which is going to have more than more than 14 okay got it so order of have you noted this one yes yes okay next one is order of order order of writing of of electronic configuration like order of electronic configuration for diatomic diatomic molecules or ions having having number of electrons less or equal to 40 okay so there are the two types of one is homo highest occupied molecular orbital and another one is lowest unoccupied molecular orbitals okay so let's me discuss this one that one we will have homo h o m o highest highest occupied occupied molecular orbital orbital and the second one is lumo we will have lowest lowest unoccupied lowest unoccupied unoccupied molecular orbitals polar orbitals okay so first of all what we'll write like we have the electronic configuration 1s2 normal generally we write 1s2 then 2s2 then 2p 6 okay then 3s2 okay we have this this type of electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 we have this type of electronic configuration hmm? in the normal case we have this type of how we will write the electronic configuration of anti bonding I will write the electronic configuration of anti bonding or uh, in uh, this is the normal electronic configuration that you learn normal okay but if we are right to write the electronic configuration of molecular orbitals the so electronic configuration of molecular orbitals is written as electronic configuration electronic configuration configuration of molecular orbital molecular orbitals will be written as will be written as okay we have one s plus sigma bond will be formed okay so we will have sigma one s two or one s okay then anti bonding one s okay then two s then again sigma two s then again anti bonding anti bonding sigma 2s okay got it then we have x okay so x we have px py and pz okay so when 2p x 2p is representing here so when we have two px and px orbital are going to combine together 2px and 2px so when they combine together there is a sign that there will be pi sigma pi bond will be formed and there will be one okay get it that will be have pi then 2px and we'll have pi 2px okay and one is bonding other one is anti-bonding okay so anti-bonding will be like this one got it 
Got it? And this will be bonding one. Okay. Are you getting this one? Yes, sir. Yes. And then 2PZ. Okay. Then sigma 2PZ. Sigma 2PZ. When, when there will be 2PZ. So there will be sigma 2PZ. Okay. Got it? First, we will write only bonding bonding. Okay. First, we will write only bonding bonding. This is bonding. This is bonding. Got it? So 2PX, 2PY. And we will write here 2PX. And then we will write 2PY. And pi pi bond will be formed here right? On, in this case. And Z will form. C. Okay. And then anti-bonding, how we will write? Anti-bonding 2PX and anti-bonding 2PY and then anti-bonding sigma anti-bonding 2PZ. Okay. Why I am writing this one here? They are going to have the same energy. Okay. They are going to have same energy. Got it? Got it? Yes, sir. So how it is? 1S. So first the electron will go in this orbital, then another electron will go in this orbital. Then another electron will go in this one and then in this one. Then in this one, in this one, then this one, then this one, and this one, this one. Okay. So first bonding will come, then anti-bonding will come. Okay. Got it? Got it? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So here, if, if I talked about this one, that for example, if we are just going to write the electronic configuration of B, B, B2 molecule, di, di boron, okay? So electronic configuration of B2 molecule. If I are just going to write the electronic configuration of B2 molecules. So total number of electrons in B2 will be? Boron has 5 electrons in its outermost shell, 2, 2, 3 electronic configuration, 5. So total number of electron of 2 B2 will be 10. Hmm? What is the total number of electrons? Atomic number of boron is 5. So total number of electron in 2, two boron will be 10. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Yes. It will be 10. Then you will write, first you will write sigma. Okay. And you will make like this, the maximum number of electrons that it, it can accommodate uh, 1s orbital is 2. Okay, done. Two. Then you will write anti-bonding sigma 1s2. So 1s2. Okay, then anti-bonding 1s2. And then the four electron has been come here. Come here. Okay, then 2s bonding, bonding 2s2. Then anti-bonding 2s2. Eight electron has come here. Okay. Got it? Yes. Got it. And then we will have pi. Okay. So when we have p orbitals, so you know that p orbitals and we are going to have p orbitals. Then we have 2p, 2px and 2py. So one electron will go in this one and one electron will go in this one. Okay. And this will be bonding. Pi and this will be also bonding. Okay. So and another one we will have sigma 2p z but it is the all the electrons has come here 2 to 4 6 8 and 10 so there will be zero electron in this one. okay okay got it so there in this case yeah. there in this case these two are considered to be s highest homo these are the homo molecular orbitals and these are the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital okay lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. This is not occupied, okay? So these are Lumo. Okay, and these are highly highest occupied, okay? Got it? Yes. yes. Okay, so you can you can make it like this in the given in the NCRT. Let me show you the NCRT. One, wait a minute.
Okay, good. Then let me show you that how the electrons are being shared. This is linear combination of molecular orbitals. Okay. And this theory is based on the linear combination. Okay. So this you can have like this. 1s, 1s orbitals are just making bond together. They will one anti bonding, one bonding that we have studied. This type of you can study here, this type of electronic configuration. It's simple that when you are just going to make bond like this, okay. So we'll have 1s, 1s orbital, like 1s electronic configuration of, of, of boron is actually 1s2, 2s2, and 2p1, okay, 2p1. So we will have, uh, we will have this 1s2, 2s2, and 2p1. 2p1 and this is x okay it is going to have one electrons okay okay and the similar are going to combine with this is 2p1 okay so uh, similar items will be another uh, to this side we're going to have another this is going to have two, this is one S2, two S2, and two P X. And this will be opposite to this. So when they are going to combine together, so when this and this orbital combine together, so they will form two new molecular orbitals. This is the atomic orbital. This is also the atomic orbital. And this is one S2. This is also one S2. So when they will form, they will form two types of one is bonding, bonding one is two, another is anti-bonding one is two. Okay. So one electron from here will comes to this side and one electron from here will goes to this side. Okay. So it will be like one is two and two is two. Okay. Got it? Got it? Yes. So this is the one is one is orbital. They are going to combine together. And then when 2s2, 2s2 will also combine together like this way. Okay, this is 2s2, this is also 2s2, 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 this is bonding, uh, sorry. Yeah, sigma, sigma bond will be formed, bonding 2s2, bonding 2s2, and this will be anti bonding 2s2. So again, one one electron will come to this side. And one one electron from here will come to this side. Okay. Got it? This, uh, we are just making downward. It means that it is going to have lower energy. Okay. Got it? Yes. And last, we're going to have 2px. And then we will have another x. So we'll have like this. And then we will have okay. okay, then one electron from this one, one electron will this one. So this is pi pi two px and two py. And this will be pi. Pi two px pi. 2p y and one electron from this one, one electron will come this one. Okay, got it. Got it. And this is not going yes. to have any electrons. So uh, when you will practice this one, this is very this will become very easy. Okay. So let's write. We are going to have five minutes and we're going to write the next electronic configuration. Okay. So let's write the electronic configuration of the other elements. Order. Okay, and if you are going to have uh, more than eight electrons, sorry, more than 14 electrons, then the order will change. 
So order what order will change? The, the change will, will be like this. Okay. Uh, this will comes down. Okay. The sigma will comes down and this will goes up. And here it will remain as same. Okay. So let's write that how the order of electronic configuration if the electrons are more than 14. Order of electronic configuration. Okay. For diatomic molecule, molecule, if, if number of, if ions, if molecule, molecules or ions having, having number of electrons greater or equal to 14. Okay. So this will be 1s2, again, sigma then anti-bonding sigma. This will remain same. Up to here, this will be same. Okay. Then 2s2 sigma. Then anti-bonding sigma. 2s2. Okay. Then will we have, now will we have, there will be having sigma. Okay. We'll having here, in the previous one, we were having here pi. Okay. We will having 2px and 2py. Okay. And this will be pi pi. But here we will have sigma. Sigma 2pz. Why z? Because z is considered to be as internal nuclear axis. Okay. So bonding. And then we will, we will have pi 2px and pi 2py. Okay. Got it? Got it? Okay. In the previous one, it was here and it was here. Okay. Got it? Yes. And then we will, ha then we will have anti-bonding 2p, 2px. And then we'll have anti-bonding 2py. And then again, we'll have sigma, sigma anti-bonding 2pz. Okay. So, order of this is same. This was here in the previous one also. But here, the and this was also here in the previous one. But the change is of this one and this one. Okay. So, let me show you how about uh, only in P, uh, the difference in P. The S is same in the P. If it is less than 14 electrons and the two p orbitals are, are having, okay. So we'll have the lowest the electron will come in this one first. If it is less than 14, okay. Electron total number of electrons is less than 14. Then it will be 2px and 2py. And then we will have uh, pi pi here, pi pi. And we will have sigma 2pz, okay. 2pz. Okay, and here we'll be having here. Okay, then we'll be have anti-bonding pi 2p 2px anti-bonding pi similarly 2py and 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 then last one is sigma anti-bonding 2p z. Okay, so this is the way. But if if there is a change. Uh, in uh, if there is more than eight electrons, then we will have we will reverse this one only first. Okay, otherwise it is same. Got it? Yes. yes sir. Are you sure? Yes. So you need to keep in mind that when we are going to have more than eight, okay. Uh, the last is same. Anti bonding sigma will be same, but in the bonding one. The energy, if it is more than eight electrons, then the energy of sigma will become less as compared to here. Here, pi electrons are going to have less energy. So the preference, for example, if you are having one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one electron will come here, another will here, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Okay. So one one of each has been come, then this one. Then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Okay. So this is the way. For example, if we are having one, two, three, four electrons here, one, two, three, four electrons here. So one electron from each, one and one, two, two of them has come. Total is eight. We need to fill the eight. Four from here, four. So we need to fill the eight. So how will we fill the eight? One, two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight. Okay, this is the way to fill the eight. Okay, got it? Yes, yes. sir.
Okay, so if this is the electronic configuration, if we are having uh, for the molecule that is uh, having 2p4, 2p4 is uh, 4 and 2, 6 oxygen. This is the electronic configuration for the oxygen. Okay, got it? Yes. And if a molecule is going to have unpaired number of electron, that we're going to discuss this one, then it is considered to be as paramagnetic in nature. Okay, like this in oxygen. Okay, what is the like if we if I'm going to write the electronic configuration of oxygen? So it is going to have two comma six electronic configuration. Total number of electrons are eight to the sixteen. Okay, got it? Sixteen total number of electrons. So if we need to write in O two molecule electronic configuration, so how will write? So this is same one s two. Then write you can write it one s one s two. Write two s. Uh, 2s2, then 2s2, okay. Then write uh, 2p, 2p, z, okay. First write because this is more than 7. We write by 2pz and then 2px and then 2py, okay. Then give this, uh, they give it sigma, 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 okay. Then this anti bonding, this is anti bonding, okay. And this one is bonding. This one is also bonding, but this will be pi, this will be pi, okay? Now you can have 2 to the 4, 6, 8, 8, and then uh, this will be 2p2 because z is only one box. So it will going to have maximum two electrons, so 2. And then how many are there till yet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 